Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. So today we have a mechanics of materials uh, type of problem, and here's what the question says. Calculate the longitudinal deformation, 10-foot-long bar with a diameter of 1.75 inches, an elastic modulus of 29,000 KSI, and a 25-kip load applied to each end. And then we see our four options available to us in inches. All right, so uh, the first thing about this problem is we need to picture what is happening, what's going on. So uh, essentially we have a bar. This is almost like a curved bar. It's not intentional. Uh, we have a 25 kip load being applied to each end there. And basically we're wanting to see how far this thing stretches. Uh, we have an elastic modulus available to us. Uh, we know the diameter of it. So uh, whenever you look on this, you need to recognize that it's talking about a bar. Immediately when we're talking about a bar, you need to be thinking axial. Uh, that needs to be where your brain automatically goes as soon as you see the word bar uh, because you're going to have loads pulled on each end of it. So uh, with that said, whenever we look up the, uh, whenever we look in some manuals here for the FE, page 131, and that's in version 10.2 of the manual. So uh, the PE manual, if we're going to look in that guy, in the PE manual, uh, we're going to be looking in section 1.6.2.6 uh, or page 28. So page 28. And this is for version 1.1. All right. Uh, so when you look on that, you'll find that the deformation uh, delta is equal to PL over AE. So you have your load times your length of your bar over the cross-sectional area of your bar. Uh, and we're going to multiply that on the denominator by the elastic modulus. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and plug and chug for our P. We're going to plug in 25 kips. Uh, and notice, I mean, we got to have our units work out. P needs to be in kips in order for the elastic modulus to cancel out with it. kips per square inch. Uh, we need to have our units work together for us right here. So... 25,000 kips uh, times L, uh, the length of our bar. Well, it, it's 10 feet long. However, our inches, our answers rather, are in inches. Uh, so we need to multiply that 10 feet by 12 inches per foot, and we end up with 120 inches. That's how long our beam or bar rather is. So then we uh, divide that by our cross sectional area, pi d squared over 4 pi times d which is 1.75 inches notice that all of our units are working out in our favor so we need to square that guy and then we need to multiply it by the elastic modulus the elastic modulus is 29,000 uh, ksi and you need to be careful here because a your units need to work out and b your decimal points need to work out i'm sure that uh, you could solve this and you could get some different answers in fact i'll tell you you can get some different answers uh, just by leaving off a decimal, leaving off a zero, uh, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble with the exam. So, hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. Uh, if you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, to help you pass your FE and PE exams the first time. And so with that said, uh, whenever we solve this guy out, whenever our units work out, you should end up with inches, and it's going to be 0 0.04 inches. So that guy is not moving uh, very much. So that looks like it's going to be B. So I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.